continually amazed at the attention to detail, the ability to focus on our customers and, and make sure that they're happy and that we are striving to be flexible and, and delivering products that not only meet their needs but also you know, are, are high quality and, and quickly delivered you know, with, with rapid lead times. Our short lead times really are made possible by the communication that we have. The communication within the shop and the, and the gentleman producing the product, also with our suppliers. Making sure that we aren't short, making sure we stay ahead, um, it takes an additional investment. The customer's needs are more important. How we approach problem solving and customer service is that it is really at the heart of Blue Dot Manufacturing. I love our approach. I feel like we really want to give our customers respect and make sure they feel heard as well as respond to their needs. The team here has been fantastic. We have tenured employees who have been with us for 20 to 30 years, and they're, they're the ones who really make the company tick. They're the lifeblood of, of Blue Dot. I'm continually amazed at the attention to detail, the ability to focus on our customers, and and make sure that they're happy and that we are striving to be flexible and, and delivering products that not only meet their needs but also you know, are, are high quality and, and quickly delivered you know, with, with rapid lead time. Have you ever known someone who just kept their head down and powered through. I mean, it just got things accomplished. That is this personality of this company to a T. Blue Dot differentiates itself from our competition largely through responsiveness, lead time, and the customization of the kits that we provide. We have some customers who have been with us for an excess of 20 years and they really value our ability to turn on a dime and address their needs. So at Blue Dot, we have some of the shortest lead times in the industry. Can be pushed as quickly as two to three days, but at the longest, five to seven. Um, we feel this augments our customers' ability to keep their processes running, to keep their manufacturing process going, which in turn keeps the sales flowing. Lead time is a big, big, issue with trailer manufacturers. They want the stuff now, they don't want it six months from now. Good morning, Blue Dot. This is we have a track record of delivering in a manner that eliminates errors and ensures that the customer has what they need with complete kits in the way that they want it, when they want it. We usually, if they need something now, we'll put something else aside and move it up and tell them we can get it out the door today or you know it might be a day or two but we'll get it out right away and then it has to go down the line starts from me entering it then it goes to Jamie to get the stuff cut and produced and then goes to Brian to pack it and get it out the door and like I say I'm been controller for multiple corporations and have not seen across the board the people's dedication to getting things out to the customers I am Pat Turley with Blue Dot Manufacturing in South Bend, Indiana. I am a uh, degree engineer from Purdue University. The team here has been fantastic. 
We have tenured employees who have been with us for 20 to 30 years. They're the ones who really make the company tick. They're the lifeblood of, of Blue Dot. Our short lead times really are made possible by the communication that we have. The communication within the shop and the, and the gentleman producing the product and also with our suppliers. Making sure that we aren't short, making sure we stay ahead. Um, it takes an additional investment, but the customer's needs are more important. We listen to them, we respond to them, and we meet their needs. And part of meeting their needs is the fact that they can trust that we will provide them with a product that they can rely on and they don't have to worry about anything else. What we're trying to achieve for our customers is good lead times, quality product, and very few errors with stuff that goes out of here. They're the ones that decide what they want. Our lead times have always been the same. The quality of product's been the same. The workmanship's been the same. Our real gift to our customers, our specialty with these customers, is to, uh, is to adapt to kits that are formed and delivered in a manner that is most appropriate and most efficient and cost effective for their production line. What we see in the future for Blue Dot Manufacturing is, number one, a continued focus on excellence with the customers that we support today. We have a large footprint in the industry. We have gained that again through serving customers well. Our first goal and our, our primary goal is to continue to serve those customers as effectively as we have and to make sure that they're well cared for. Blue Dot now supplies copper nickel brake lines. When it comes to hydraulic trailer brake lines, Blue Dot offers double wall brazed, low carbon steel tubing with a standard aluminum galfan finish, stainless steel for high end corrosion protection, and its newest offering, copper nickel brake lines. Popular since the 1970s in automotive applications in Europe, copper nickel provides a more affordable alternative for hydraulic trailer brake lines with much of the corrosion resistance of stainless steel. Copper nickel brake lines are U.S. Department of Transportation approved for hydraulic use. The material is more flexible than corrosion resistant stainless steel, resulting in easier brake line installations on the assembly line. Copper nickel's pure construction with no thin protective coating is corrosion resistant to external environmental effects like salt and road grime and also internal acidic brake fluid side effects. Copper Nickel's ability to avoid moisture leads to a longer lifespan against wear and tear. Contact Blue Dot to learn more. My name is Jamie Banks. I've been here eight years and I manufacture all the steel brake lines here. I'll walk you through it. My big brother. <laughs> the first thing I do is I feed the tubing through the dies here, the straightening dies. This is where I keep all the, you know, you got to do all the adjustments to keep things rolling straight for the customer. I feed it through into the automatic feed, that's all.